What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ryan Lodi coming to you once again from the good old 305. Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Hey, if you don't know me, take full responsibility. My name is Ryan Lodi, building a nine figure insurance agency and helping everyday Americans create a multiple six figure renewal income here at LC Finance Group. If you want to learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below, reach out to any of our partners here at LC Financial Group. So for today's training, I'm going to be talking about five steps to effective learning. Now, before I go any further, before I go any further, I want to take this ginger shot here for you. This ginger shot and this training video is sponsored by Pressed Juicery. So if you want to learn where to get the best pressed juices, as well as drinkable juices, go visit pressed.com, pressed.com. There's no code for you because this is not a sponsored video, but I love press juice. Let's go. Absolutely. So let's get to it, folks. Five steps to effective learning. Now, for me personally, right out of high school, I wasn't learning. I didn't want to go to college. During high school, I didn't want to learn either. You know, I, I, I definitely didn't even have the capability to learn because every day I was going to high school, you know, high on drugs. And it's, it's awesome to see where your life can go to when you start to learn, get the right information, and most importantly, strip away the bad information and the bad data. Right, so I'm gonna be going over five steps to effective learning. You know, it's it's not ultimately, you know, what we know that is holding us back, but it's also what we don't know. And then also to a degree, it is what we do know that also could be holding us back from really getting ahead in life, reaching true financial freedom, true success, whatever you're looking to create in life. So five steps to effective learning. Number one, the first step to effective learning, number one, is really getting a deep dive on what you believe and what you choose to believe. So what are your beliefs? What is the information on what you believe? Like, do you believe that it's good to turn off all the lights before you leave the house? Do you believe that it's good to turn the AC off if you're not in the house and you're gonna be away for an hour or so? Do you believe that it's good to clip coupons and save money on groceries? Uh, do you believe that you have to get the best price everywhere you go, right? Like what is your beliefs, you know, right? This is a first step to effective learning is really evaluating what are your current beliefs? Do you have a scarcity and a limited mindset or do you have an abundance and a prosperity mindset, right? All those, all those beliefs I was just, you know, briefly bringing to you guys are beliefs of like a scarcity mindset, a middle class mindset. You know, I was born in a middle class. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not complaining, but I was born in a middle class, you know, family. Most of us were born in a middle class family, middle class society. And sometimes we inherit these beliefs of the middle class. We inherit these beliefs of the middle class, of the, of the average, of, of, the, of the misers, the, the, the penny misers, people that try to you know, squeeze, squeeze uh, an, an eagle off the quarter, right? They're, they're trying to squeeze as much as they can off of each single dollar that they have. They're focused on ex saving money on expenses instead of just focusing on how to increase your income, right? So really getting a deep dive, number one, step number one is really getting a deep dive of what you believe and also most importantly what you choose to believe what you choose to believe because these beliefs sometimes what we believe and what we choose to believe was was implanted into us over all these years right from whether it's from your upbringings whether it's from the world the universe society teachers Right, we're, we're, we're taught the wrong information. Most of us have the wrong information. I'm telling you, I had the wrong information. I know so many of you guys that are tuning in right now to this training video have the wrong information. 
So you first have to evaluate like, man, what do I actually believe? And what do I choose to believe? Do I believe that money is scarce? Do I believe that creating financial freedom is only for the individuals that were born and raised in a, in a wealthy family? Do I believe that you know, I, I can't create wealth because there's already so many people that have created wealth, right? That's the scarcity mindset. That's the, that's the limited limitation mindset, right? But then on the adverse side, you have the healthy mindset, which is the prosperity mindset, the abundance mindset. Like, wow, like no one's success can limit or deter the amount of success that I can create in my life. Oh, the, the mindset of like, man, if that person did it, I can do it as well, right? So step number one to effective learning is really evaluating and becoming aware of what you believe and what you choose to believe. Because hey, all this stuff that tries to get implanted to us from, like I said, from our family upbringings, teachers throughout school, high school, elementary school, college, uh, the universe in general, every th all the information they try to ingrain into us, we don't have to believe it. We don't have to choose to believe it. They might try to push their agenda on us, right? The universe is gonna try to push their agenda, uh, agenda on us, but we don't have to actually accept it. But most of us, we do accept it. And that's what's gonna hold us back from really creating true financial freedom and true success. So step number one, what do you believe and what do you choose to believe? Number two, step number two to effective learning, right? We're diving into like the, the basics right now. And then we're gonna dive into like, how do you effectively learn? Step number two is where did this false data come from? As I was saying, like, hey, this false data, the false information, the, the, the data and information that's ultimately capping your full potential and full capabilities, that's capping you, you know, you're, you're, you're in a cage, you got handcuffs on and you're not able to really spring out and really, and really splurge into creating true financial freedom and true financial success. So this false data and this false information, you have to understand where it came from. And you also have to understand like, hey, is this even valid in today's generation, right? Like the majority of us have information and data that we were taught from our parents as well as the teachers. And this, this data and this information and this knowledge that they were teaching to us is, is from like the 1980s, it's from the 1970s. Yes, some of it, it could be useful, but hey, I'm telling you the majority of it, it's not useful whatsoever. So you have to truly understand like, man, where did this data and this information come from? So step number two of effective learning, the five steps to effective learning, step number two is really understanding where the data that you have within you, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the information that you have within you and what you choose to believe and what you do believe, where has it came from, right? Is, is this even any of your own thinking or your own research? Or is it just implanted into our mind from a young age to get us trapped in society, living like an average individual that's just scraping by, constantly worried about money, and literally just like, just not happy with life, depressed, anxious, a lot of anxiety, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of hate, right? That's where the envy comes from because, you know, when, when if, if you're not getting by and you see someone else getting by, Man, it, it's very easy to hate. It's very easy to be envious because you're like, man, like, why can't I get by? You're so confused, right? We need to remove the confusion. When you're confused, it's going to lead to a lack of action. So you need to remove the confusion of like, man, where, this, where did this data come from? And also like, man, why am I even like, why am I even operating on this bad, faulty data and information? It's gotten me to where I'm at in my life currently. And maybe you're not happy where you're currently at in life. Maybe you don't have the financial income, the physical health, the mental well being that you want to have. You need to check, like, man, do I have the right information and the right data, right? As my Uncle G says, if you don't know K N O W, you end up with no. So if you have a lack of income, it's because you don't know something. If you have a lack of physical shape and physical, 
um, physique, it's because you don't know something. Knowledge and wisdom, right? We're talking about five steps to effectively learning, five steps to effectively increasing your knowledge and wisdom so you can increase the success in your life, the financial freedom in your life. So step number two, as I said, understanding where this bad data had come from. And then step number three, step number three, this is one of the most important steps out of this five steps to effective learning. Step number three is stripping away and removing all of the bad data, all of the bad information, and all the data and information that's ultimately holding you back from really moving forward in life, reaching your full potential, and operating at your full peak capacity, right? It's, it's not always, you know, what you need to learn, but it's also what you need to unlearn, what you need to remove from your, from your belief system, what you need to ultimately strip away, right? You need to strip it away. You, you, you need to unlearn things. You need to remove the bad data and the bad information. So if you're not where you want to be in life and things aren't going too well, one of the main causes is because of what you believe, the knowledge you have, the data you have, and the information that you have. So you need to remove that bad data, strip away the bad information, and ultimately just, just do a clean, clean sweep through everything that you think is right, right? Because if we're not where we want to be, it's ultimately due to the information that we have. The information that we have, the information that we have is holding us back from where we want to go. It's, it's like, hey, as I said earlier, like what we know helps us get to where we want to be. But it's also what we don't know that is holding us back from where we want to be. And it's also what we do know that is holding us back from where we want to be. Exactly. Some of the things that we know, some of the things that we believe to be true, like, oh, like I, I need to save money. No, you don't need to save money. You need to increase your income. Oh, like I, I need to, you know, pump more air in my tires so I can save on gas. Like, no, like you just need to create more income, right? Oh, I, I need to um, maybe potentially eat healthier to be more physically fit. That's not, that's not the main majority of it. There, there's other factors that go into it, right? So it's, it's like the information that we know could be holding us back as well, as much as the information that we don't know could be holding us back. Right, so step number three is removing and stripping away the bad data and the bad information. And then step number four, step number four, hey, you just need to add the right information and add the right data. Where do you get this information? Well, me personally, I simply just duplicate the mindsets and the actions of the highly successful. I duplicate the mindsets and the actions of the highly successful. Because when I'm doing that, I'm gonna create success as well. It's as easy as that. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to do anything new. There's proven paths out there. There's proven strategies and systems that's gonna help you create success. And all you need to do is look out for it. Go on YouTube, you know, go to events, go to conferences, go to masterminds, go to boot camp. You can get that information. You can get that information going out and seeking the information. The information is out there. The right information in the right data is out there. All you need to do is look for it, right? But most importantly, choosing the right information and choosing the right data. So step number four, you need to add the right information and add the right data. And then step number five, hey, just repeat the cycle. Repeat the cycle. Anytime that you think you're getting held back in life, anytime that you think like, man, things aren't going as well as they could, hey, just start to go from step number one to step number four, step number one. What do you believe and what do you choose to believe? Your beliefs could be holding you back. Even though you, you've won so much in life, you've succeeded so much in life, maybe to a degree, those beliefs that got you to where you're currently at in life, they could be holding you back from where you currently want to go. 
because what got you to where you are isn't going to get you to where you want to be. The belief system of got of what got you to where you are isn't the belief system that's going to get you to where you want to be. So if you want to continue to grow, continue to expand yourself, continue to reach towards financial freedom and true financial success, just continue to repeat this system. Repeat the five step of effective learning system. So guys, hope this found you well. My name is Ryan Lodi, owner of LC Financial Group, aka The Machine, coming to you live from 305. Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Five steps to effective learning. Hey, if you want to learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below, or hey, send an email to my careers team, careers at teamlcfg.com, careers at teamlcfg.com. Five steps to effective learning. Step number one, what do you believe and what do you choose to believe? It all starts with the beliefs. It all starts with the knowledge that you have, the information that you have. Step number two, understanding where that data came from. Where did that information came come from? Step number three, you need to strip away the bad data, the bad information. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to go plant a tree, and I'm going to plant it on faulty soil or bad soil or corrupted soil. That tree's not going to grow to the to the length that I want it to grow to. You first have to strip away that bad soil, the, the, the faulty soil or the corrupted soil. And then step number four, you got to add the right soil. You got to add new nutritious soil to the ground so that tree can flourish, that tree can prosper, right? And that's ultimately what happens in our lives. We have the wrong information and it's only going to get us so far. It's only going to allow us to reach this much of our potential. But when we strip away the bad data, we strip away the bad information and then add the right data and add the right information, it's going to allow us to go from here of our potential being capped to to wherever we want to go, like to ever as high as we want to go with our full potential. And then step number five, just continue to repeat this process. Five steps to effective learning. Hope this found you well, execute it on your life. My name is Ryan Lodi, coming to you live. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Let's have a great rest of our day. Hey, if you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, at Ryan Lodi, and I'll see you guys soon. Let's go.